everybody. It's been a really, really long three weeks for me. Um, I'm going to take you into the studio. It's not quite done, but it's finally at a stage that I can show you. So here we go. Um, that pile right there in the middle, that stuff that needs to go into the house. But until I've got um, the house totally put back in order, I'm just piling the things up there and taking them in. You can see, obviously, the vacuum sitting in the middle. Um, I spend a lot of time painting, but let's take you through. I've come in, and when you come in off to your left is a little sewing table. This is not living there permanently there, but it's there for um, the time being. And in a minute, I'll show you why. The bag in the window is a video that I need to tape for you guys. Back in July, I went to Crab Apple Hill Studios out in Washington, and I attended a workshop, and I've got a bunch of stuff in there to share with you. Come around, here's my sewing table, and I have to tell you, it is beyond perfect. It is the right size. I've had to put bindings on a quilt. It's great, it holds the bulk of the fabric, so I'm not holding it up. This is the fabric that I've chosen for my curtains. The place is a mess, but believe me, it's a lot better shape than what it was. But that's the material. It's, um, it's a Marcus Fabrics design, and it's, um, I'm trying to remember who the designer is. For some reason, I think it's, it's Color Love by Nancy Rink is what it is, and it's absolutely gorgeous, and it looks phenomenal next to the windows and next to the walls. So here's my sewing table. This right here is a project that I've got coming up for you guys the end of November, or I'm sorry, the end of October. So that's sitting on my sewing table because I have to get going. And here is um, October's block for the um, flag out front. I'm a little behind the eight ball, but I think you can understand why. So here's my sewing machine. My serger is set up on a temporary table. Yes, don't you love the paint? Um, <laughs> the serger is set up on a temporary table right now. I need to place an order for some um, pieces from Ikea, and I haven't done it yet. So that's what that is. Underneath there are some notions that go with the serger that I haven't done with, done anything with. And over here in the corner, you can see there's a great big huge pile of fabric and stuff that I still need to go through. But I wanted to show you my sewing table. Here it is. Um, underneath here are my little um, plugs, my little four patches. I'll show you one. Here are all my little four patches that I make when I'm sewing. And here's my basket of them ready. The pencil in graph paper is a quilt that I designed today that I'm going to hopefully start filming tomorrow and Friday. I did get another quilt um, designed, made, and filmed for you guys. I will be hopefully putting that up after this one. I'm going to do a little pan of the room again. Yep, we got a mess in spots. Here is my new ironing station. And I just love it because I can stand there and iron and look outside and enjoy the orchards behind our house. And it just, it's perfect. This will be my design wall. It's obviously not there yet. I have to remember to unplug the iron because the iron is still plugged in. So there's that. There's my trusty strip sticks hanging out. At some point, I'll go through all the drawers and show you how I've organized it, but I'm just not at that stage yet. Here is my closet with all of the things that still need to be put away in it, along with customers' quilts. Um, we've really had a tough time with the doors. 
uh, I wanted barn doors, but when the hardware alone got priced out at $1,400, I said, absolutely no way. I was not doing that. So there's the door. Um, we did find other hardware that's going to work substantially less expensive, and I'm going to be really happy with the outlook of that, too. So here is my cutting table with all my rulers. Empty bins of what I've gone through already. My cutting table is really deep, so I can have a bolt of fabric that I'm cutting there and have other bolts sitting out here so I'm not cramped at all, which thrills me. Back in the corner over there is my office, and that is a disaster. Um, haven't even come close to touching that. Everything just gets dropped in there right now. I am expecting a woman next week by the name of Barb. She's going to be coming, and she's going to custom paint the um, cut, or I'm sorry, the ironing station and the cutting station, a, um, and my desk. So once those are done next week, I cannot wait to share those because then the place is really going to be put together the way I wanted it. Um, you come around, and I stuck. Those are quilts going out the door to customers. Um, I stuck that piece there for right now. I just, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it or not. It is really nice, and I do like it, but I just don't know that it fits in here yet. So that's a um, temporary piece, potentially a temporary piece. I'm going to scan around. I got my knobs. I was so happy with them. I'll come in a little closer. Little glass knobs for my dresser. And Barb is also going to paint the front of this for me a little bit. And then you can see my long arm. The stairs aren't done yet, but the, I'll see if you can see it. You can see the white up at the top there. That is the door for the attic. Um, and it will be on a shock system of some sort. My husband explained it to me, but I didn't totally understand it. But anyhow, it'll be really easy for me to go up and down. The bookcase behind um, the long arm just went in. Um, yesterday and I the ladders there because I had to put a final coat of paint on it I only got the one side done I haven't gotten this side done yet so that's on there so that hopefully uh, come Friday I can start putting things away there and I'm gonna take you around behind the long arm so you can see what's going on there right now um, this is temporarily holding my thread I counted up my spools of thread, and I've got something like 350 spools of thread. And for right now, I've stuck it in these drawers, kind of sorted it a little bit out by color. Um, you can see there was enough room in the drawers for it all. I went to our local um, lumber company, and they have an idea of getting a pastry cabinet. It's a regular kitchen cabinet, and it has shelves on it that are four inches apart. The spools of thread are exactly four inches high, so it will work. Um, the only thing right now is the cost. I'm, um, I, I'm trying to justify it because it's going to be almost $500 for just one cabinet that holds 320 spools. So I... Um, I'm still trying to debate, debate that one out and trying to see if possibly there's another solution. So if anybody out there knows of another solution to store those threads, please, please let me know. I am searching. The bookcase came out really well. I was very happy with it. I have plenty of places for patterns and all types of stuff and plenty of places to put um, fabric. Now, I also, if need be, can break it up a little bit more 
and add another couple of shelves if I need a couple more for books or not. Not quite sure yet. I need to really start unpacking my bins to see what I need. If I do, I'll be adding another shelf right here. So um, that's what that's all about. And Rena's little bed underneath there is just waiting for her. She's not 100% certain of the floor yet. It's kind of slippery for her paws. So um, I'm giving her some time to adjust. Obviously, the stairs aren't done yet. That's um, one of the last things to get finished. But here's the long arm. And you can see this is what I see while I'm standing back here working, which is just wonderful. I can look out at the orchards. I can see out the door. I can see when people are coming. I can see our backyard. And, and I just love it. I am thrilled to pieces with it. This cabinet is going to be moving. And then I think I'm going to put the little antique sewing box underneath that window. All this stuff that's on here is just the stuff that I need immediately for the long arm. And that's going to actually go over here on this shelf. So that'll work out perfect for me. That's why there's an outlet right there for the bobbin winder. So I wanted to give you a little tour. Um, keep in mind it's not done, it's not clean, everything's not put exactly in place yet, but I am definitely finally feeling like I'm making some headway on all of it. And I'm also now starting to get a feel for things that um, I may potentially want to move or change or adjust or that type of thing, which is really, really good because I need to figure all that stuff out so that I can totally get unpacked and get working. So here's an update as to where I'm at and what's going on here. Look for a tutorial that's coming up. I'm going to pull it out so that you can see it here. So look for a tutorial that's coming up on this block. This piece is already quilted. I'll zoom in for you. You can see the quilting. This is one of those 20-inch um, pillow shams for those big square pillows. So there's that. Here's the second sham. And the quilt, I'll pull it out so that you can see it a little bit. The quilt itself is right here. So there's the quilt. And it's all ready to go on the long arm. I just have to have to get to it. Hopefully this weekend it'll go on the long arm. But there's a tutorial for that that should be going up um, in the next, I would say within the next week. And the tutorial is on how to do chain piecing. And I use that to, to show you. So here's the update on the studio. And I can't wait till it's all done. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Have a great night. Bye.